Okay, um, thought I'd throw in there, uh, there's gonna be a bit of maybe stuff that you haven't seen before um, because I've sort of left out a bit of footage from the green wagon build because I had a heap of footage built up for that. Um, so I haven't really used any of that, so I'm gonna be sort of catching up, I guess. Um, so there'll be little bits and pieces that I'm doing on blue and then I'll flick back to the green build uh, and you'll see why that's happened or why I went with that or something along those lines. Uh, I just sort of throw this in there just so it doesn't really confuse people, I guess. Uh, Cause yeah, I had probably a few hours worth of footage uh, of stuff I did to big green, big green bus before I got this. Um, and yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna put in as much of that into this. Um, if anyone wants to see that sort of stuff, I'm more than happy to do a video about just the stuff I did on the green bus. Um, the emu wings, the stuff I started doing with the emu wings, um, the frame that I was building to go in there, the water tank, all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, so that's just, that's just to clarify any of that. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going, get into the big blue build. Um, pretty cool stuff in this episode. I hope you enjoy it. I just got home from work and came up with this brilliant idea that Jackson's about to show you. We both came up with it. I was like, oh, we'll just put the fridge in there and see how it looks there. And then we're like, oh, that, that'll actually work well. Um, <clears throat> so I have a look at the fridge. You can see, sitting on a bit of wood. Obviously, I'll tidy it all up, rah, rah, rah. Um, but before I said I was gonna build the drawer up, we'll have a big, deep storage drawer. I'm just gonna leave it like that because that's fully sick. And that can be a cooking cutlery kitchen drawer because it's perfect. And then on this side, I can have another drawer and put whatever else I want to put there. So, yeah, what are you thinking? Shout out to Georgia, shout out to fucking myself. Like, it's beautiful. So, slowly coming together. Just got to fi fi fix, finish. Yeah, finish, that's what I was looking for. Finish it. So, heaps good. Right, um, I've changed the setup in the back of the 80 again. I think this is the fourth time now. So originally there was gonna be, in previous videos, and then the latest one was the kitchen slide next to a single tightened drawer with the upright fridge on top and the drawer fridge where the passenger seat would have been. Um, but after thinking about it and having a chat with Georgia, uh, we've decided we're gonna semi do up the Hilux potentially put a train canopy on it or I'll build a toy hauler and put a canopy and dog box and that sort of stuff on that. So my plan is now I'll put the upright fridge in the Hilux or trailer or whatever. Uh, same with the drawer fridge. Um, and people will laugh and say, well, oh, you need three fridges for. Um, I just went and bought another one. 62 litre fridge from Super Cheap. Um, Ridge Rider, I think it is, uh, made by Evercool. Um, and I have had Evercool fridges in the past. Families have have had Evercool fridges in the past. Loved them, so I thought I'd give this big girl a run. Um, I was gonna get the dual zone, but it didn't fit in the kit on the, no, didn't fit on the fridge slide that's on the kitchen slide. So I had to go with this one. Um, so I'll open her up and see what it's like. There you go. I like this because it's very low profile. Um, so, being in the back of the 80, the 80's that bit taller, I'll be able to see into it without having to get on the tailgate and get a drop down slide. Um, and then, if I ever want to put this in the tub of the Hilux or whatever, if whatever we decide to run, um, it'll fit under one, a torno, if we have a torno, or if I put a false floor, like in the canopy sort of thing. Um, I'd have to show you what I mean when I build it, if I build it, we don't know yet. Um, but yeah, looks good. Good amount of the storage inside. Nice thick walls, rate that. Um, I like the Anderson plug connector rather than um, just your normal Siggy, Siggy plug connector. Uh, and it's reasonably light too, so I'll uh, go and get it in the car. I've just got to bug around with a few things there and uh, show you what it looks like. Can't find the GoPro and I'm muddy and don't want to go inside. Um, I've started ripping everything out of the green bus. Um, 
and I know I went to all the effort and time to build this frame, um, but in the blue one, I'm um, keeping the back seats in, so everything past this is useless anyway. So I'm just going to try and use the seat bolt holes if I can um, to bolt down the drawer in the kitchen slide um, and go from the edge, try and make it a little bit neater. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna put the Cruiser Company windows on the on Big Blue, um, so I might be selling them. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna sell the Radius Fab snorkel because I wanna go a bottle entry. Um, so keep an eye out if you see that for sale you'll know what the go is uh, but yeah I don't think I'm going to use that frame excuse me um, and I'll show you what I've just started doing in big blue so you got fridge and everything there there I'm just taking out the seat clips to hopefully use these hold down bolts um, on the kitchen and the slide um, and we'll go from there so Yo! Um, I was going to put the battery in here um, but I'm half thinking I might, for the time being, just strap it up on top of there. And I think I'm about to build up a little box so that when, when the seat's down, a little box in behind there to have the DC DC charger and all that sort of stuff in there. Um, so I'll give that a crack, see what I can come up with, um, and go from there. There's not a whole lot of room in these things when you keep the back seats in, but that's all right. Um, be able to take more people's places and have fun. So, um, I'm gonna have to build another bit for this wing kit because I've misplaced it. Um, but otherwise, pretty happy with how it's all come together. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here yet. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna run the cruiser company windows. So, just wait and see what, what happens. So, let's keep going. Here, building a box up on that to hold the chargers and fuses and all that sort of crap. Um, I even put the battery box straight on the drawer and strapped it up the back there, but there's too much storage or just a heap of room. I was going to build a whole thing here and house it all, but it's too difficult. Um, so I'll show you what I've actually come up with. So DC DC charger, solar controller, circuit breaker, the battery side in over there. I'm yet to secure it. Um, and there will be a fuse block somewhere here as well. Um, I'm not, let me grab this, not too sure how I'm gonna keep it all tidy. Um, might have to build like another little box sort of thing just to house the wires, uh, just to try and keep it neat or like make, make like a channel highway for the wires or whatever you want to call it. I'm no electrician, so. Bug it if I know what you call it. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be pretty neat. Keep it out of the way, keep it out of sight. Nothing will touch it or hit it there. So it'll be nice and safe. Um, and yeah, so let's uh, keep tinkering along. Don't know if I'll get, get a little wired up today, but I have to get it wired up by next weekend. Going away camping uh, in the big, big blue. So got to try and get the fridge running at least for the beers. Uh, and throughout the week, I'll throw the rack and the awning on, and I'll probably swag it, so. Keep okay. um, kicking on with the 12 volt. Um, so I'm about to take some measurements of how much room I've actually got behind the seat here, and I'm gonna build a triangle box, I guess you'd call it. Um, and I'll try and make it so it comes out into this, you can't really see, I have to turn that light on. Uh, but try and make it so it comes out and uses as much of this other usable space as it can. Um, so I'll get the tape measure take some measurements uh, make up a drawing so I can start building a box to get in there um, just to make it a bit neater I was gonna do it all in this section here but I'm gonna get a one of the half barrier things that go above the head of the seat there up to the roof and the shelf um, and then the emu wings and all that so I'll wait wait to do it all on that side until all that's installed so I know measurements and I can make it all schmick because um, if I just do it there now, it's just going to be half assed and whatnot. So I'll make a half decent box to go there to house the battery and charges and everything. Um, and then, yeah, later on we'll upgrade it. So, at the moment, yeah, we'll get into measuring that, make a box, carpet it, and start installing 12 volt stuff. Let's get it. Camera stuff.
Right, uh, so throughout this little time lapse, I guess you'd say, um, just seeing me measuring up uh, the size of what the box is going to be, making sure I've got enough clearance for behind the seat, taking measurements of the drawer and that, uh, so I can make the measurement for the box, uh, and then also the section where the battery will sit, uh, which you'll see later on in the video. Uh, a little bit messy as it is at the moment. Uh, that'll get tidied up. Um, I start removing everything off the back of the drawer. The old setup, very dodgy. Worked for the one night that I needed it. Uh, but yeah, obviously this is all getting changed now. So, heaps good. Right, so I've got the base backboard bit um, sorted out. Um, there she is there. And then in there you've got the battery. So I'll just go around this side and flip the seat up so we can see what it's sort of looking like. Um, just have to put that down because I need two hands to flip this seat. Hang on. Oh, please stay there. Oh, look at that, that's magic. So there you got the, the battery there with the boards. Um, and I will have a um, section coming out here to cover the top of the battery so that, like it's all protected sort of thing and I can store stuff on top of it sort of thing behind the seat um, and then there will be a little bit of a little bit of a timber bit coming out um, just so I can sort of hide all the cables and make it look nice and neat um, but yeah slowly ticking along keep going and I'll keep updating and going as, as we go um, but I reckon it's gonna be pretty cool um, I've tried to make it so that these will be flush with the um, cage bit that I get. Um, but just so if I want to, I can keep this set up here but, and then eventually that move all the 12 volt stuff into, in here and then just use this for other storage or whatever. Um, but I'll have to wait and see what it's like when I've got the cage thing. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my darling partner gets me out for Christmas because that's all I've asked for for Christmas, but we'll wait and see. If not, um, I'll buy one early next year. Uh, and, and go from there. So let's keep ticking along. So there you go, sort of sitting in there now, all sort of glued and screwed together, roughly where it's going to sit. Um, so these here, that's where the battery's going to sit. They'll sort of hold the battery so it doesn't slide. Uh, and then there'll be this isn't the piece, but there'll be a bit across the top like that that comes out as far as it can, and then there'll be like cut off there so all the wires can be hidden in here so you won't see any of it and then all the accessories will be mounted on that that wall so heaps good slowly coming along um just gonna keep tinkering and finish it off and then i'll paint it carpet it uh, bolt it in and start installing the 12 volt uh, looks a bit better than how i had it before um and like i said earlier probably not going to be the final setup um, but it's going to do perfectly for now so run it see how it goes if i end up liking it like that i might just leave it like that um, but we'll wait and see what happens so i'll do some more and i'll get back right um nearly there show you this so that's how that'll be the terminal's hidden under that uh, and then that there like so and a bit of timber covering all that um, and that's on a hinge i'll show you later on that's on a hinge so that can flop down so i can check it all and whatnot um but yeah coming together quite nicely really but beautiful right um just turn this music down um slowly getting there started just gave it a lick of paint just to see what it would look like um so i've made it so this will go skadoosh and then this will go skadoosh um so yeah, pretty cool. I'm um, just figuring out what I'm going to do in this little section here. So, go from there. Oh, there we go, this bloody shit. This is awesome. Um, so I got this side. I'm yet to carpet it all. I've just put it in so I can mark how low the carpet needs to come down. Um, but so I'll have that with DC DC chargers and whatnot in, in that little compartment. And then come around this side. I've still got to tidy it all up and whatnot yet. Um, yeah. 
battery will sit in there under that and then in there is where all the bloody ugly cords will uh, be hidden um, I was gonna try and follow the line of that all the way down just so you see there's a bit of a gap um, but I've just in, put a little insert in there to hide hide it all um, it was gonna be too difficult to try and make it follow the line all the way especially since the battery sort of like it's hard to explain battery could only come to so far and it could all only come so far off the back before hitting the seat um, and I wanted to have a small shelf sort of thing here um, to keep a little bag of spare fuses and basically a little electrical tool bag sort of thing so I don't have to keep me electrical tools in with all my other tools sort of thing um, so that's all gonna be there and so I didn't want to taper it all off um, so that's why I've sort of made it flat like that that side um, so yeah I'll pull her out start carpeting her finish painting it um, I'm gonna try and put some aluminium trim on it just to make it look schmick um, and we'll see what it looks like uh, after that so I'll be back right <coughs> It's in. Um, just got to wire in all the 12 volt. But here you go. Look at that. You can't really see because the lighting and my light's gone flat. But. Bloody. You beaut. I'll go around the other side. Alright, and we'll take this with me. <clears throat> now, it's taken me all but all day to do this. So. Everything better be schmick. There's all that. Not bad, really. Look at that. Hey, bloody beautiful. And that lifts up. down into that hole and then it'll be charges and stuff that'll be beautiful I am happy right I got a couple little doohickeys in there ready to go wired in um, I've just got to run the cord from the alternator through that hole into the bloody engine bay solar regulator cables out to the battery bloody beautiful way neater i bloody love that that's bloody good come this way and that's what she looks like from the back not too bad not too shabby pretty bloody cool and just like that it is done finally almost 12 hours later hey a little bit of tidying off to do with these what couple cables here but then i've got fuse panel just for anything else I want to add later on um, and the earths for this switch block relay box whatever you want to call it it's a tight fit the seats only just closed but it all works well battery is nice and snug in there got a couple of these switches hooked up that light and then the fridge as well so solid day now I get to pack up all the shit um, but yeah heaps good um, it's been good fun um, definitely worth doing though it's very neat very tidy and used a lot of space that was otherwise unused or unusable so quite happy uh, keen to get out and see how it goes camping um, another thing I've added also that I didn't film um, just th quickly threw it on uh, just to get me by until I get a bigger slash better one um, through the same solar panel on that I had on the Hilux um, 110 watt ridge rider um, I'm gonna go to 160 watter um, and I'm probably going to try and mount this one under the rack so and like on slides sort of thing um, just so then I'll have what's that <clears throat> 270 odd water solar um, but I'll still have a bit of room up on top. Um, I might even mount the 160 under the rack because that one's a bit smaller. Uh, but we'll wait and see uh, what happens when I purchase the rack, uh, the rack, the panel. 
see how it sits, see how it looks, um, and go from there. Because yeah, with this big rig, I'm going to be swagging it, so I'm going to have room for a swag. I'm going to have room for a couple other little bits and pieces up here too. So yeah, keeps good. So that's um, that's going to about wrap us up for this episode. Um, I've been away one night now using the Ridge Rider fridge from your work Chrissy party. Kept all the steaks and eggs and bacon and a couple of beers and whatnot. Cool and beautiful. Um, I haven't had a chance to check how many amps it draws. Uh, I'm about to order a Victron or a hardcore battery monitor. Uh, so once I get that, I'll be able to let you know uh, how it goes amp drawing wise. Um, another upgrade I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get some solar shades just cause to touch this at the moment. I mean, we had a 38 degree day today and to touch that is hot. So the solar shades in the back might help a little bit with that. I was gonna just run the good old bloody um, windscreen, what are they called? Sunshade things that you put up when you go to the Coles car park or whatever. Uh, in the past, I've just cut them up and stuck them on and they've worked all right. They just looks a bit out of going. So I'll get some solar shades uh, and hopefully that helps a bit with it all. Um, despite being very hot to touch, it still keeps down to the, the set temperature being three degrees. I think that's actually set to two. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Um, so the solar panel's just keeping up with the um, fridge. Uh, like I said, I want to get a bigger one and hopefully when I put the solar shades in, uh, the fridge doesn't cycle as much and therefore won't draw as much and hence won't flatten the battery as much. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed, wait and see. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, head over to the Instagram, give it a follow. Uh, once again, we've got merch, stickers, uh, we can get hoodies, even though it's bloody hot now. Uh, we can do singlets, uh, bucket hats. I think I'm gonna try and get onto some trucky caps. Um, and then if you go over to the Comprint website, they're doing their uh, MJ flat out work shirts. They're bloody good. Uh, I just ordered another couple for myself. Um, but yeah, cheers guys. Get Keep keen, next episode isn't too far away. Thank you.